Year 9 is finally here, everybody, in the Rams franchise. And today we kick off the season against the San Francisco 49ers and quarterback Brock Purdy, who has been here throughout the entire course of this series. Last year, we had this exact same matchup, and they beat us by 3, 17 to 14, a pretty low scoring game. And I was not happy with the offense in that week one performance. But after that, we would rattle off a really good year going 13 and 4. Before this game, though, in preseason, we had a top 10 offense, especially passing wise, but the defense was, you know, kind of middle of the pack. Both quarterbacks passed the ball very well. No INTs for either Chad Bolton nor Jesse Wagner. Both guys had really good ratings. And Matthew Williams ran the ball extremely efficiently, 5.4 per carry. Two touchdowns while Trevor Offord led the receiving core. But we've got a couple injuries here to talk about, which is why you're not seeing Morgan Stoudemire or Eric Pemberton there on that list. In terms of the offensive line, Kevin Campbell, the only started to allow a sack in preseason. He is the rookie left tackle that we took in the first round, obviously. And defensively, only two sacks here in three games. One for Kennedy and one for backup linebacker Jared Ricard. While Levy picks up two INTs and er Ernest Jones gets the other one. So no picks from anybody in the secondary. And Youngway Ku missed a field goal and a PAT. In terms of our roster cuts going into Week one, we did end up putting rookie linebacker Sergio Webb on the practice squad, and we do the exact same thing with rookie tight end Chase Lilly as well, who were both around a 64 overall. And for our goal this year, obviously last year we lost in the NFC Championship against the Bears, so our goal this year is going to be to win the Super Bowl because this team has that kind of potential. We tried to keep most of this team together, so that is the expectation, is to get back to the title game and, of course, win it. And win it all for the second time here in the franchise. Now, because we played so poorly on offense against the Niners last year, I'm putting the offensive focus on the passing game because Wagner has to be better if we're going to win a game like this. But we are missing some key offensive players, including two receivers, as I alluded to earlier, with Morgan Stoudemire and Eric Pemberton both missing this week. We're also going to be missing rookie or a not rookie starting left guard, Greg Teal. So we're going to move Avila to a left guard in place of him, and we're going to start Quincy Ellerby at right guard instead. So we are already pretty banged up on the offense going into week one. We always seem to have an injury to a starting receiver. This is the... Sixth or seventh time in, in uh, nine seasons where this has been the case going into week one. But hoping that Kevin Campbell, the rookie left tackle, can step up here and do a good job in both the run and the pass. But we're also facing a top five pick in Peter Matthews. The Niners were five games below 500 last season. So they had a really high draft pick and they took a linebacker who was supposed to be a really good pass rusher. We'll see if... Uh, Peter Matthews can do some damage against us today, but here we go and so far for like the seventh or eighth straight showcased episode, but we open the year at home and looking for a win against public enemy number one, which is always the case with Kyle Shanahan. I just don't like this guy at all. I don't like San Fran. I hate their team and I want to beat them and not start off the season 0-1. So here we go, week one is underway, and the Rams will start with the football. They kneel the ball in the end zone, so out comes the offense. Jesse Wagner coming off a 26 touchdown season with 10 INTs. We start off in the air, and we go to Chuck Johnson for the first down, gain of 11. So we brought him back after he did not get a free agent offer from anybody else. Signed him to a deal that was much less than he wanted as David Jackson bursts up the sideline and gets all the way to the 22-yard line in Niners territory. He barely showed up there in the, get the game against Chicago to end our season in, in the playoffs last year, but now he's off to a really strong start here in year number nine. Second down and four. This is Matthew Williams on the outside. 
short of the marker. So third and two. They go play fake outside the numbers. And that is David Parson for a first down. Jesse Wagner five for five on this opening possession. First and goal, lofting it for the end zone and wide open. It's David Jackson for the touchdown. Three of the six completions went his way and he was wide open on all three of them. And he gets us in the end zone and the Rams have struck first here in SoFi Stadium. It's always nice to open any game, much less the season with a touchdown drive because that should be a sign of things to come, hopefully. The PAT is up and good from Young Wei Ku. And the Rams open up the ball game 7-0. Three full minutes off the clock. This is Jamar Green with the kick return, and he gets up to the 26-yard line. And now it's time for the defense's turn to take the field against this Brock Purdy offense. He hands it off on the first play to Winston for a nice pickup there of seven yards. It looks a lot like Matthew Williams. And now this is Corbett's. And we've got already an injured player, Carlos Ruiz now. So three offensive players got hurt. And now on just like the eighth play from scrimmage, we miss a starting linebacker. Next play, this is Winston on that reception for a gain of four. Now he gets it on the ground and Levy prevents the first down run. There was a hole, but Levy the only defender there to make the tackle. And then incompletes. To Quentin Johnston, Antonio Stroud, one of our free agent pickups, jars that one loose, and the defense forces a Niners punt. We take over from the 12-yard line, and Wagner never had a chance. Colbert gets to him unblocked, and we lose seven yards on the opening play. On second down, Offord gets the check down pass to give us some breathing room here. You get most of that yardage back to set up third and long. And Wagner finds Jackson up the sideline again to keep the drive alive. Prevent a deep territory punt. And we still have possession. This is Trevor Offord for nine yards. Really hot start for the offense here passing wise. Our first run goes nowhere. And now Matthew Williams is shaken up on the play. And he is going to limp his way to the bench. So now a starting receiver, guard, and now we're starting running back are all out. Third and two, it's hauled in by Mike Peters. With so Stoudemire and Pemberton both out of this game, he's going to have to step up here behind Trevor Offord and David Jackson. But Jesse Wagner is intercepted by Jamal Bailey. He forced it to Jackson. And the Niners... Get the ball back off the turnover. Now, something really strange happens here. They go to a booth review to check the fumble, which wasn't actually a fumble out of bounds. And then the Niners get the ball from the 45, but they start on second down and 16. I don't know what happened here, but they also wiped off the INT but it still kind of counts because they have the ball. But they don't give Wagner the INT. And the Niners start on second down and long. And now they just hand the ball off on third and 14. Not even trying to convert this. And we're going to get it back. I don't know what the heck happened there. That was just a weird bug that I've never seen before. But uh, I guess we're back with it. Still up 7 nothing. This is Trevor Offord for a gain of 7 yards. That pick, by the way, was the first incompletion for Wagner all game long. He still has not thrown a ball that has touched the ground. Demarius Allen now on his first carry converts that to move the chains. And now David Parsons got it out running his defender, escaping the tackler, and he gets across the 45 back into San Fran territory. The first quarter is over. Wagner technically has an INT, but it's not going to count stat-wise. But first quarter's over, Rams up and driving. On the 43, this is incomplete, the first real off-target throw. That brings up second down, Trevor Offered again. Close to the line to gain, but two yards short. 
On the 35, we hand it off, but Allen has nowhere to go. The offensive line gave him no chance that time, and Colbert is once again in the backfield. And then we make an absolutely brain-dead decision to punt the ball away from the 35-yard line. We should be up 10-0 right now, but instead, we don't even give Yoinku a chance at a 52-yard field goal. The Niners get it back with a chance to tie it up. Only down by seven. They start from their 20-yard line. This is Winston. Ice team tackling there to bring up third down. Another chance to force a three and outs. Purdy's got time, though, and he's got Jamari Green wide open. Just his second completion so far, but it moves the chains. He checks it down to Winston now for around five or so yards to bring up another second and medium. And they go right back to him. The same exact play, and this time, not nearly as much. Got to throw it here on third and four, and they've got Ronald Sharper over the middle for the first down. Last time we faced this team, Sharper had a pretty big performance and was getting open with regularity, so got to watch out for that matchup. Now another hole opens up, and Winston's got the first down. Now they're across our 35. But they're going backwards. That's a false start, so... Go backwards by five, and they're just within field goal range for Jake Moody. Winston gets to carry again, and we're having some problems stopping the run right now. The front four is not getting any contact on these running backs. Until now, Ernest Jones and Forbes bring down Corbett to bring up third down and eight. Trying to hold these guys to a field goal as the screen pass goes into, into the dirt. Pressure from Kennedy at that time to force the incompletion. And we do end up holding them to a Jake Moody field goal attempt, which he knocks through. So 3-7. to seven. We should be up by more, but still plenty of time here in this first half to tack on some more points. We start from our 23-yard line. Play fake on first down. Matthew Williams back in the ball game, and he immediately gets the first down. Jesse Wagner, 14 for 16 passing, already up to 175 yards. And we're going right back to Williams, but this time, two defenders there, including Hufanga, who is one of the league's top strong safeties. And now we're going to dump it off again. Can we stop this now? It's three checkdowns straight. Let's uh, not do that and try to convert this third down. Wagner throws it into coverage, and he's intercepted by Keon Good. And the Niners take over in Rams territory. Just undercut the route. Carl McCoy was on a streak, and Wagner just threw it one way too late, and he underthrew it as well. So the Niners... Are right back with the ball, trying to get themselves back in at least field goal range. As Winston knocked down at the 40-yard line to uh, bring up third and five to go. Another screen. This time it's going to work out. Forbes just got laid out by 52. And that allows Winston to find some room for the first down. Now down the field. It's Sayuk in the end zone. Touchdown, Niners. 32 yards. Not sure why we had George Vance matched up. Oh, I see why. There was a miscommunication. We had Darius Richards way out of position. And that left Ayuk wide open. And Vance, a late reaction time. And the Niners have all of a sudden jumped in front. And again, with that field goal that we did not end up taking from the 35-yard line, it would be a tie ball game right now. Instead, we're now playing from behind, trying to close the gap prior to the break. Trevor Offord gets the first down. A minute to go, all three timeouts still, but we got to go no huddle now to try and save some time. Down the seam, it's Trevor Offord again. Up across their 35, we use our first timeouts. 
and go right to a screen for Matthew Williams inside the 25 and out of bounds. Good job there to save two of our timeouts. Back to the air, but incomplete. Knocked away by Keon Good. Second down, a short throw to David Jackson brings up third down and five. Just inside the red zone, they bring pressure and Wagner can't get rid of it. And we lose yardage, have to use, or they use a timeout. And the field goal is up and good from Koo. But it should not be tied right now. The Niners might have a chance to score prior to halftime with two timeouts and a couple of seconds for some plays. But Jamar Green breaks the tackle on the return and he is gone. And just like that, we're playing from behind again. You've got to be kidding me, man. Usually it's us returning kickoffs and punts, but this time it happens to us right after we tie the game. There's already been so many plays that we're going to want back. And we're losing now at halftime by a full touchdown score because of it. Just not how you want to end this game after going up 7-0. To have that second quarter go the way that it did is really unfortunate. At halftime, though, at least the Seahawks are on track to lose their game. They're down by 10 with only one completion there in the first half for Will Pollard. Meanwhile, former Ram Jake McAllister is the new Chiefs quarterback, but they fell against Baltimore, who is off to a 1-0 start. Meanwhile, Damon Craig facing his former team and Patrick Mahomes, but they've got zero points at halftime. So, even worse news, the Niners start the half with the football right after the kickoff return. So, nothing going right for the Rams ever since the first quarter. Got to play a lot better here in the second half if we want a chance to win this game. We're off to a good start here with that run stop. Going to go right back to it. This is Winston for four. Third down chance for us to force a punt. Purdy under pressure. He has to throw it away. He finally got pressure for like one of the first times all day long and it actually forces a stop. Go figure. So, a great job there by the defense to open this third quarter. We get it back. First and 10 from our 38s. Little audible there from Wagner. We finally hand the ball off, but Williams' second run goes for nothing. He's got no yards on two carries. Second down and nine. This is completed, but there's a flag down. And this could be holding. No, it's going to be roughing the passer. This is almost never the correct call in this game, so I guess we'll take the cheap 15 yards. That one's caught up the seam to David Parson. The Rams right now are moving the ball down the field. First and 10, pressure coming from Bosa, and Wagner has to get rid of it. From the 30, and we got David Jackson up inside the 10, up to the 5-yard line. He's had a really busy day so far, but... Six receptions for 100-plus yards, and Chuck Johnson is in the end zone, and the Rams have tied the ball game. Our first rushing touchdown this year, I think just like last year, comes from our fullback. So, congrats, I guess, to, to Chuck right there, and... BAT from Ku is up and good. Five play, 61 yard drive will tie the score up. San Fran comes back out. Purdy throwing it down the field. It's broken up by Jonathan Dodson, the rookie free safety. Our first time seeing any action for him in this game as Ronald Sharper breaks a couple of tackles and gets the first down. He always seemed to have some tackling issues once the second half comes around. For some reason, I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's just because the uh, defense gets tuckered out, but they frequently have issues in the third and fourth quarters wrapping people up. This is sharper inside the Rams 40. They're trying to put themselves right back in front. 
Winston finds a crease and gets shoved ahead for a gain of nine. And now it's Antoine Washington shaken up. And if you recall, we lost Carlos Ruiz on the second de defensive play from scrimmage in, the, in this game. And he has not returned since then. And now missing two key starters, the Niners are right back in the red zone. I got to send a Winston out wide here. So empty look for Brock Purdy. Good protection. He's got Ayuk wide open in the end zone, but he couldn't keep both feet in bounds. That is so damn lucky for us. That was a huge bust in coverage. But luckily, it's not going to count. Second down and 10. We bring pressure, but it's not going to get there. And Purdy finds Sharper, who breaks another tackle off of Vance. And now they're inside the five. First and goal, Winston on the ground, nothing there. Now a Niner goes down. Way too many injuries for my liking so far in this week one game and the preseason. Broken up for Ayuk. George Vance with the stop there. Can we hold these guys to a field goal? They're not going to get anything. It's Jonathan Dodson with the INT. Three or four defenders in the area. Brock Purdy tries to force it back of the end zone. And that was the wrong call. The rookie second round draft pick picks him off. And the Rams get off the field allowing no points on that possession. Big stop by our defense. But Wagner gives it right back. Jamal Bailey with his second INT on the day. He had the one that was... Take it off by the bug. And on the first play from scrimmage, the Niners are right back in business like it never even happened. No idea what Wagner saw here. Jackson was covered that entire route. Just a really poor throw. A really poor decision. And the Niners are right back outside of the red zone. But Warren Terry takes him down for a loss of eight. Our first sack of the day. That's up second down and 18. Purdy flushed out from the pocket and has to throw it away again. They're starting to really create some pressure. They go to a screen on third down, but Daniel Levy is there to tackle Winston after only a one-yard pickup. So the defense, after the INT, holds them to a field goal. So Jesse Wagner now essentially responsible for half of their points. They've scored 10 of their 20 off of Wagner turnovers. He technically has three INTs, one of which was not really all that bad because we got a three and out off it, but no turnovers and, we, and we'd be up by 10 at least right now. Down the field to David Parson once again on a third down play. He steps up. Wagner now over 300 passing yards, but... We haven't run the ball hardly at all. But we got a man wide open. Touchdown, Rams. It's Carl McCoy. A complete bust in coverage by San Francisco. And we are back in the saddle. Back in front with this score. Just look at this play. Safety out of position. Jamal Bailey just lost out there on the field. He's not near a single good player that is... You know, supposed to get the ball, and he is just completely far away from his from his um, defensive assignment there. So, we lead 24 to 20. Ayuk on the ground reminds me of Debo Samuel a couple years back, but now down by four. Defa just has to hold these guys to a field goal, and we will still have a lead. But could hold these guys to a three and outs. Brock Purdy, crossbody throw, and he converts it just barely to Quinn and Johnston. And that will end this third quarter with a new set of downs coming up. But we've got nine rushing yards. Why did we not even try to run the ball? I don't know. I, I really don't know. It's the same playbook as usual. So I guess I just got to make some adjustments to our play con because I'm not liking it so far in this game. Winston... Up to the 41 to uh, bring up third and five. 
Under 10 minutes to go here in regulation. Brock Purdy under pressure. Quincy Basnight forces that throw away. And once again, our defense forces the San Fran punts. The offense now has a chance to tack on more to our lead, but we are not even showing run at all. We're just showing pass every play. Lofted down the sideline and knocked away by Jamal Bailey, who's been really damn solid in this game. Two INTs and a couple of pass breakups, but also that one busting coverage. Nick Bosa gets to Wagner from behind, and now we've got a long way to go on third down. And we throw it away. And the Rams go three and out in a crucial point in this game. That was a real chance to increase our lead, but instead, we're going to give it right back to San Fran. This is the third or fourth time already in this game where, where we have made a play just like that. Either a pick or a three and out or a punt. And now, Daniel Levy is hurt on the punt. So now he's out of the ball game. Carlos Ruiz is out. Antoine Washington's out. We're missing both of our top two linebackers. So Ernest Jones is going to have to really step up here on this drive. But they had really good starting field position. Second and four. This is Ayuk. And they're right back across the Rams 40. First and 10. Good protection for Purdy. And he dumps it for Sharper. Back to the air, over the middle, it's Jamar Green who had that kickoff return touchdown. And he sets them up first and goal. This is Corbett on the carry. He has not been efficient. Only one yard there. Purdy on the move, dump seat for Winston who is tackled inside the one but did not reach across the end zone in time. Third and goal, Corbett back in, and he's in the end zone to put the Niners back in front. Just way too many wasted chances, plus all these injuries, and we're now, once again, losing in week one. A seven-play drive, three and a half minutes off the clock, and five to play for Jesse Wagner. Got to establish more offensive consistency here if we want a chance to win this game. First and 10, out to Chuck Johnson, up the sideline and across the 40-yard line. Flashback to that first play from Scribbage. It was pretty much the same play, just flipped. We still just cannot run the ball at all. We are, are not even really trying at all. Going to do it here again, but just no help from the offensive line. So... I guess we're just going to have to throw it on third and seven. And it's a low throw incomplete for, for Mike Peters. And once again, the Rams punt the ball away. And Tommy Townsend sends away a horrible punt. That was like a 30-yard net average, man. So pretty much standard starting field position for the Niners from their 24. This is Corbett's for a short gain of three. A couple of first downs can end this game for the Niners. If they can make us spend our timeouts, they just use the option for the first time. They just pull it out in the fourth quarter and they convert easily. We have been hit historically terrible against any team that runs the option. We just never have a good answer for it. Second down and eight and there's a hole. For Winston, and they're in Rams territory. We've got one timeout left. We're going to have to see, to uh, spend it here. With a minute 50 on the clock, a first down ends the ball game. This is Winston. Only a yard this time. Third and six coming up. And they're going to throw it. It's a screen. But the blocker is out. He breaks a tackle, but Richard saves the first down and also stops the clock by knocking him out of bounds. But the Niners are going to stay out there on fourth and three. A bold play call. Purdy down the field. It is broken up for Ayuk. Emmanuel Forbes prevents the game-winning play, and we just have a chance. We have a one chance right now 
to drive down the field and at least force overtime with a field goal. That's all we could really do here. A touchdown would be nice if we can do it. But 58 seconds left, no timeouts. Audible here on first down. Wagner over the middle has a man. It's David Parson now over 100 yards in this game. Or close to it. You got to go no huddle. And we're taking already 20 seconds off the clock after one play. And we keep throwing the ball over the middle. And we have no timeouts. We're already down to 15 seconds and counting. Play action. Wagner backs up and throws it away. Now eight seconds on the clock. We have time for one play and then a field goal. That's all we have. You got to get in field goal range and out of bounds on this possession. But instead, we use half the clock to throw it away. Fourth and two. Last chance. We're just outside of field goal range. And then Wagner just stumps it for Mike Peters. There was no chance of that ever scoring a touchdown. And just like last year, we lose in week one to San Fran at home because of the offense. Cannot be happy at all with this loss. We could have won this game in so many different ways. And instead, we fall by three again. 27-24. Wagner shows two picks, but really had three, and two of them gave them possessions that would score points. Ten points as a result of INTs. Now, we pass the ball down the field overall pretty well with over 400 passing yards, but we had like 10 total rushing yards. And we only had one sack and hardly any pressures on Brock Purdy. Had the pick from Dodson, the rookie. But flashback to that one field goal that we never took. It would have been a tie game right there, and we would have gone to overtime instead. And, you know, bad news piles up, and uh, Ruiz is going to miss four weeks after this game. So now we are thin at middle linebacker, and it gets even worse because we have to face the Vikings who our defense has historically played really poorly against in our last two games against them. And they also won their week one game. So we are on the verge of starting 0-2. And you know what they say about 0-2 teams? Their chance of making the playoffs is way less than teams that start at least 1-1. One one. So we have things to work on after this starts. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.